Whew, what's going on folks? Good morning. We are headed, well, we are at the farm. We're not headed anywhere. We are at the farm and uh, we got a lot of fun stuff planned today. Starting off the morning with a good old coyote hunt. Normally we coyote hunt in the evening. I never hunted coyotes in the morning, but uh, we're gonna give that a go. But we gotta go check on the old trailer. Gotta go check on, what are we calling this? The Flare B&B? Gotta go check on that. Of course, we got the Bonds Daddy. What'd you do to this thing? Yeah, it got a little muddy. Sorry. There's mud everywhere. The old Warthog needs a bath, but we're gonna we're gonna head over to the uh, Flare B&B. We gotta see how many how many mice we have. Do we sell six traps? I think we're six for six. Yeah. You think so? Six for six. I'll go with it. I'm not even gonna take a bet. I bet we have six mice. One. I see one. Trap number one. Yeah, we got a moose there. Nothing there. One. Oh my gosh. Those both. Both of these guys got kachowed. That's three. That's I got three. one on your bed. The one on my bed is not set off. They like so they your just bed. like my bed. Yeah. So that's how many mice? Four. Four, four for six. Yeah. That's what we had last time, right? Yeah. Sick. I'm glad they just love my bed. All right, we gotta get the gun. Not this gun. Get the old AR fired up here. Later. Woo. Gotta be quiet, folks. We are going coyote hunting. That was a little loud. We're going coyote hunting, and uh. I think the ginger ninja's gone. Dude, the ginger ninja's gone. Jake sold it. Jake sold the ginger ninja. You should have bought it from him. No, my one friend. My one friend is gone. The reason we're being really quiet, even though we normally aren't, is because there's no wind. And uh, they, can, they can hear for a ways, so we're gonna try to be quiet. Jim, hey, don't walk over there. You take Buddy Kyle hunting and he just lets the whole, he lets the whole pack know that we're here. They're pissed. And I don't know about what, but they're pissed. Oh, dude, there's deer. Can you see them? Okay, they're not moving. There's three, at least three. Oh, yeah. See, see them? Yeah. There's at least three deer. Just says, I've never seen any deer in here. Oh my gosh, there's four. But as you can tell, there's still cattle here. And these guys, so they're gonna have some babies here in a few months. So, uh, we gotta try to trim down that coyote population. We've already been through the spiel, but if you're new to the channel, these are the cows that we're trying to protect. We're actually not really protecting them, but protecting their calves come this spring. And although they don't have calves yet, there's so many cows out here, we have to get a head start on it. Because as soon as those coyotes start having pups, then they're all just gonna explode and start eating these guys. And you know, there was, what was it, 16? 16 calves got eaten last year out at a farm out here. That's not good. So we're gonna get started here. We gotta get the old gillies on. You guys know the drill. minutes later well Jimmy no dice eh? I think they sniffed you out today yeah I haven't showered in like a day and a half so I probably, that, probably, that probably doesn't help oh man well uh, we uh we're gonna head to a new sit we were gonna go sit on another spot down here by this fence line Jake said that's where all the coyotes are but there's not really a place for us to sit and that that wouldn't that would change a lot you know we, we we cover a lot of ground on, on that spot and that's where I killed my first coyote. If you guys haven't seen that video, you guys should go check it out. But we're gonna go, we actually got some more farm ground that you guys have not seen. No idea how many acres it is. It's it's quite a bit, quite a bit of space. A big lot of acres. It's, it's a big a lot of acres. Um, but you guys haven't seen it yet. We've only driven past it one time. Um, but we're gonna go sit up there. We've never, we haven't even been there yet. I mean, we literally drove past it. We've never hunted it or scouted or anything like that. So we're gonna run over there, set up a, a sit. No idea if there's cows over there, but it's a new a new spot and it's not that far away from here. So I'll see you guys there. Wow, wow, wow. We uh, well, barely made it. We got a little bit of sauce on the old tundy, but not bad. We made it. This is the property, basically, where you can see the dark beans is not ours. The corn, all the way, pretty much. So you guys can see those buildings right about there until those buildings. So basically, this whole stretch. Yeah, we saw a lot of deer. We saw. I don't think I got it on camera. The buck. There was a big buck, probably. 10 to 12 pointer big stinking buck one of the biggest bucks i've seen out here and then just a whole bunch of dough there's just an absolute ridiculous amount that was crazy i can still see him down there oh my well i've been talking about deer hunting um maybe i should have been out here a little bit sooner why well, i waited so long to come out here i guess this is where we should set up a coyote stand i should be deer hunting or i should go grab my bow and go deer hunting tonight so right now we're walking to the stand but check this out 
free blueberries for Austin to eat. Oh, Yum. <laughs> Look at this. Look at all this thing. Dude, this is, oh my gosh. Look at all this. Look at that. That's a big nug there, son. I've never seen this much deer poop in my life. Look at all this. Look. Look. I mean, this whole thing is deer poop. Wow. Well, I think here's the plan. I say we coyote hunt, we leave, we go back to the farm, pick up the warthog. I say let's come back. I don't think we can hunt it tonight. Um, but let's maybe set up a trail cam and let's look for more stuff like this. And then uh, when we come back, maybe set up a blind and try to shoot one. I think that's the plan. But right now we gotta try to shoot a coyote. So right now Austin is running the decoy out. We're picking this spot, this fence line, because there's a whole bunch of brush right behind us. And we're putting the decoy out in front of us because the wind is actually right at our face, which is good. That's what we want. And uh, I'm gonna have Austin go about 100 yards out, set it up, but this is, I didn't even film most of it. There's so much deer poop here. It's unreal. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Crazy, crazy amount of deer. Dang, today's been, I had a really good feeling about today. And uh, I don't know, the wind picked up though, like real cold, like, oh, I'm so cold right now. I, I'm literally just wearing a hoodie. I gotta go back to the farm, grab my coat, and then, uh, I don't know. I think we're, like I said, we're gonna go grab that wart, we're gonna go grab that wart hog and bring it down here because I wanna scope the rest of this place out. Obviously there's no coyotes here, lots of deer, but we gotta scout it. and. Uh, we only got a couple weeks left of archery for deer, so we gotta make it happen. We are, uh, we're at the farm now. We gotta go check on those traps. You guys know all the traps have been set. We gotta go check on them. And then um, we're gonna go back to where we were coyote hunting and uh, take, take, a, take a gander. See where all these deer are at, maybe. I mean, we found where they walk and where they go poop. I don't know what else you need to know about them, I guess. But we're gonna go explore, but first we gotta go check out. Check out the traps. Are you telling me we got bamboozled? No way. Completely empty. Who? Who? I mean, this thing is... Two feet, and it's empty? Who are we dealing with? I don't understand. So I think a raccoon or, or possum knocked, knocked it, it off. off. Couldn't get the food, didn't want it to get its hand trapped, and then the mice could chow it. So like the, the raccoons like, and the mice are doing tag a, team. It's a teamwork. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. What in the hell is going on right now? We'll try it again. What a botch. We can't win. We can't win. What happened here? Okay, hang on. Hang on. Okay, this, gone. This off of it golf ball off of it and no food this is frustrating ladies and gentlemen any other suggestions let me know because uh this was kind of our last effort to get this figured out and so far we haven't got it figured out okay 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 someone somebody explain this right here we got a golf ball okay let's count how many steps one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Where am I going? I don't know. Right here, right here. Turn, 16, 17. Okay, regardless, like 15 feet. I got a theory. Let's hear it. All right, so we had like honey or some syrup or something on that, right? Yeah. I think a raccoon grabbed it and took it over there. And then just. And then he realized it wasn't. What I, I what, this is what I, here's, I'm not confident these green ones. I don't, we haven't caught a single one in the green ones, have we? They're different triggers. Yeah, they are. Stick, stick, stick a stick in there. Stick a stick in there. That's our problem. Look at them, they're just grabbing our food. What? It's not working. Wait, what? Are they pull traps? Is that, is that a thing? Do they have to pull? I've, I've seen comments about push pull. Can you put your finger in there? Comment down below your favorite dog proof traps. I need a good brand that doesn't do this because these things suck. We're headed to uh, the spot where we just coyote hunted, you guys saw. We're gonna go scout it out and then uh, we gotta go to the beaver dam. We gotta see if we caught any beavers. And uh, if not, I think today's the day. Uh, today's the day the beavers need to be, the beaver dam, I guess, needs to be, uh, needs to go boom boom. Well, we made it. It wasn't that far. It took like 10, 10 minutes on this on the award hog. But we're gonna just basically drive through all around this property. Said we haven't even been on it yet. This was the first time we actually stepped foot on it. We're just gonna see what all of it has to offer. I think there's some creeks in here. There's obviously some timber lines, and there's a lot of deer. So uh, just you know, sit back and relax, and just to kind of enjoy the little safari trip we're about to go on. You got some water right there. 
I don't know how deep it is. You want to go find out? This is like crystal clean water, dude. That's kind of sick. Micro fishing? Micro fishing? I kinda Tiny like, creek, I kinda like ultra clear, catching cook. Oh, yeah. There you go, baby. Deer poop. Probably two, three feet right there. Yeah. This is cool. This is really, really cool. cool. This is where we're going to be deer hunt, folks. I can tell you that right now. So I think what we figured out, why everything is laid down, is this was water at some point, probably this year. It could have honestly been a couple weeks ago when everything was flooding but it's all matted down. So we think this thing is whole, whole thing was just water. I mean, this is, it pretty much is water. Imagine the duck hunting in this. A timber hole like this would be unreal. So if we've got high water next duck season, I think we're gonna have to come check it out. But that's, that's 100%. Oh, uh-oh. This is deep. Hang on. Hold up. Hold up. I'm about over my boot. I might need your help. <laughs> I don't want to go over towards you. Pull me out. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm done walking over here. Dude, that was that was a foot and a half deep right there. Holy smokes, Jimmy. What are, we, what are we dealing with? We got a pond. Dude, that's... I know about this. Dude. This is a nice size. This could be the flare fish factory. I don't think it's very deep because you can see vegetation across the whole thing, but I don't know. I mean, that could just be top layer veg. You're going to fall through if you go any further. <laughs> I can tell you right now. Been there, done that, son. Roll the clip. Okay, so if this video gets 10,000 likes, I can't say I'm gonna do it because I don't know if I can do it, but I'm gonna try to do it. Austin had the idea of digging this pond out. And then all we do is make a road. And we'll make a road. Right and and this will be a little fishing pond. We'll, we'll, we'll put fishing, we'll put bass, whatever. That'd be sick. If we just dug it out to like 10, 10, 12 feet, throw some brush piles in there, it'd be pretty dang sick. That'd be awesome. I think it'd be sick. All right, you guys gotta like it. 10,000 and I'll do my best, I can't promise. Now I understand why there's so many deer because there's so much water and so much food. I mean, look at this. This is a fully good corn cob. There's a lot of it in this field, so I'm not sure exactly what happened, but there's a lot of corn as well as, obviously it's been picked at, there's a whole bunch on the ground. But I think that's the combination, water, timber, place to bed, and food. Looks like a deer factor. We got a lot of more ground to cover though, so you guys should stay tuned. I need your guys' help. What do you think is doing this? We, we probably should set up some trail cams, but there, I mean, there's a, there's a ridiculous amount of food. This is a, this is a feed pile. There's one actually dangling from the tree. Do you think it's a raccoon? Do you think it's deer? I feel like deer don't make feed piles. I don't know anything about deer hunting clearly, but I know raccoons do, but check this out. Look at this. This is a full blown, I mean, it's a creek, but it's pretty dang wide. I think we could hunt some of this. Like, I think honestly, some wood ducks early season yeah. would definitely hit this. This is a lot of new ground that we didn't even get to explore this year. But I need your guys' help right there. What do you think that is? Comment down below. I need, I need some help. So this is pretty much where we saw those deer uh, earlier and check this out. Look at the rubbings, rubbing. Look at this, rubbings, rubbings, more rubbings. Cheese and rice. That's one hell of a duck blind there, Jim. We just uh, made it to the other side. Basically, earlier we were on the other side of these trees, and then we came across. It's, look at this. This is sick. I don't know how safe it is to walk under this, but get a gun. Okay, you got it. That's good. I'm glad you were thinking ahead of time because you never know what's living in here. This is insane. Look at this. Hold up. Hold up. This has got to be for moonshine. Where's Outlaw when you need him? Outlaw, we got some moonshine for you. Look at this wagon, the battle wagon. We should totally restore that and make like a mobile duck hunting blind. We just like pull it out there. You can drop it off and drive away and hunt from it. Dude, you know what we should do? We should build a deck up there and then shoot coyotes from the roof. Look, deer poop, deer poop. You know who needs to come here? Rob. Rob needs to metal detect this. Cause you know damn well there's gonna be some something. hidden shred. I mean, I'll have to ask, I'll have to ask how old this I mean, this is old. Look how this is like holding up. This is like, that's so cool. It's, these are actual trees. Imagine the history here. We've got to get Rob. Yeah. Rob has to come metal detect this. All right, I promise we're almost done scouting the land, but check this out. Look at this. CRP, baby. This is all CRP. All this land. But ideally, if this was like really tall CRP, which maybe it gets taller, I don't know how CRP works, then, uh. We think about putting some pheasants in here. Pheasants, quail, chucker, stuff like that. I mean, it's it's just not that thick. Yeah, if it's, it's all this height and really thick. It's not that terrible, but 
I mean, we'll drive through here and just kind of see what we're dealing with. Comment down below, if you guys know anything about CRP, what type of CRP, if that makes sense, is good for deer and what type is good for pheasants? Because there's different kinds and this kind is just not thick enough for anything really it's just it's just too sparse i guarantee there's some deer poop around here yep what did i just say hang on deer whisperer right here i just said why hey you, i bet there's some deer poop why are you deer, poop, deer poop deer poop deer poop deer poop because they use this for wind windbreak right here and they just bed yeah. deer poop deer poop deer poop this is a good overview of all the new ground it's all this all that you can't even see like those trees over there that's kind of part of the tree line and there's some more trees down there but it's basically as much as you guys can see right here is the new chunk the new chunk of property that we're gonna try to manage try to hunt try to fish maybe stock it but pretty much i don't think there's anything else for you guys to see here we'll see you at the beaver dam pack it up baby how many we got five yeah let's take five this is what you've been waiting for baby blowing up the beaver dam got the old lucky coon hat on courtesy of bombs daddy all right moment of truth did we get the beavers look how much mud they put there how how so if you guys don't know what it looked like before i'll roll the clip they packed in the trap okay it's over i'm done this is why we brought the boom boom for this reason, I told myself, hey, if we catch a beaver, there's only one left, we believe. We're gonna catch the third, the last one, the fourth one. Well, we've only caught two of the four, so it's time for the dam to go bye-bye. Well, nope. It's still going, nothing got trapped there. But they sure as hell fixed that one. That's the one we gotta blow up, I think. I think we leave this one, since the trap is still perfectly intact. Good to go, we'll leave it. We'll check it tomorrow but for today we got to figure out how to blow the sucker up you guys see that little orange thing right there that's what we call boom boom we're gonna start small and then we're gonna upgrade but this is the back side of the beaver dam look how big that is we got a lot of boom booming to do but we're gonna set these cameras up and hopefully you guys sit back and enjoy look what i just found it's a big bone it looks like a big uh maybe a hip bone Comment down below. What do you guys think that is? We need more boom boom, folks. That didn't, uh, pretty sure I could have kicked that out with my foot. So that right there was a small canister of boom boom. We've got bigger ones. I wasn't sure how big of one we needed, but clearly we need the biggest we got. We're gonna put this boom boom in here. The only issue is I don't know if it's gonna, we're gonna be able to see it from our shooting area, but we got one here and then I'll show you one right here. And then the second one we've got right down in there. So. Boom, 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 boom. Well, I mean, it made a big hole, but uh, I think we need to make it closer to the water's edge. Bas I imagined it would blow up more, but the issues, we're having issues because it's frozen. To, you're supposed to like put it up under so the impact goes up and it makes the dirt move. One issue is it's frozen. Second issue is it's frozen and we can't, we can't shove it up in there. Nothing, literally nothing, nothing. All right, beavers, listen up. This is your last warning. Okay, now that warning is over and it's time to blow up your dam. What we have here is two bottles of Boom Boom. The idea is you shoot one, the bullet goes through the first one, explodes, goes through the second one, explodes. And then as you can see, I dug a tunnel. This is where that last big one went. Dug a tunnel and hopefully it blows all this up. That's the plan. You guys stay tuned.
Oh! Oh my, oh my God! Look at it. Look at all the mud. Oh my! Oh my gosh! But look at it! Oh my gosh! We did it! Oh! I'm so glad we thought of putting it together so the bullet travels through both. Because with, with only one, I mean, look at, show, show where it was. See that stick going across? That's where the line was. Yeah. It blew all of that. I mean, I, the camera wasn't at the greatest angle. It got the majority of the explosion, but like, you guys saw it went way to the other side. Yeah, the next step is we gotta blow this part up. So that way it's just a huge, but I mean, over time, that's gonna just eat and eat and eat. I mean, it's gonna, it'll be a while before they can fix that. That'll buy us some time. Oh, it feels so good, okay. For those of you guys that are new to the channel, there's four beavers, at least four, and uh, they've been making big issues here. We've killed two of them, unable to kill the other two, so we just did this. We just blew it up, and uh, they're gonna have a fun time trying to fix that tonight. But we finally just said, screw it, blow it up. If you guys enjoy today's episode of blowing up the beaver and let me know in the comments section down below we'll do it again and again and again because it's just fun and uh yeah that's pretty much it really do appreciate it peace